Hello my friends. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to create a frame out of a word so that you can fill that word with um, a, a gold gradient or a picture or anything else. So let's get started. I've got here a workspace that is a Facebook post and I'm going to create my word and I'm going to um, type two words, um, Canva, Canva uh, and love. And I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. I'm also going to reduce the space in between by coming in here and just um, closing it a little bit. I really, I don't have to, but um, I'm going to do that. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the hollow effect. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to apply the hollow effect. Now I'm going to download this as an SVG and unfortunately you do need the Canva Pro to do this. If you don't have Canva Pro then you can go to a website like um, Convert.io and um, you can try and use Convert.io or, or anything else but um, this works best with the Canva SVG. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I am going to download this as an SVG. And unfortunately, you do need the Canva Pro um, account to do this. So I am going to download this. And as soon as it's ready, it'll be up there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, Microsoft Word and I'm going to create a blank document and I am going to insert the SVG file. So I'm just going to go and look for it. Here it is. I'm going to insert it. Here it is. Okay. So now you can either right click and say convert to shape or you can see it's right over here. It doesn't matter which one you choose. So I'm going to convert that to a shape. And now I'm going to go up and I need to fill this shape with a picture um, because uh, right now it's um, it, in order for us to use it as a frame, we have to fill it with an image. So I'm going to come up here um, and actually I am going to try and remove that white background. So if there, you do have a white background, just delete it. Uh, you might have more than one, um, but uh, in any case, um, if you do have more than one, just try and delete um, the extra ones that you have. See there, I had two there. So um, so now I'm, it doesn't matter whether it's centered or not, but I'm going to come up here to Shape Format and Shape Fill. I'm going to come down and I'm going to select Picture. Now you can either import from your desktop or you can use a stock image. It really does not matter what you choose. Any image, just choose any image, okay? Um, so there you go. So now I've got it filled. And now at this point, I'm just going to take my image and I am going to save it as, and I'm going to save it as a PDF. Canva Love. I'm going to call this frame. Uh, I'm just going to change my folder because I want to place it in my downloads. And I'm going to change this to a PDF and I'm going to save it. All right, now I'm going to go back to Canva and I'm going to upload my design. So I'm just going to um, create a new page here. Here's my new page. I'm going to go to uploads and I'm going to go and find my image. 
and this is my uh, um, PDF file that I saved from Word. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to say open and it's going to upload here. So we're just going to wait for it to upload and I'm going to select projects and here it is. And I'm just going to select it. Okay, here it is. And we can see that it's two separate frames. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, hopefully I'm going to press delete once and twice and it's going to leave me with a frame. So I'm just going to hit that. So it deleted the outline and there we go. Okay, again here, delete, delete, and there we go. Okay, so here I, I have my frames. It's two frames. And now let's say, for example, I wanted to fill it with um, gold. Um, so let's say I'm looking for some gold and I'll, I want to put the gold in there. I can just, there's the gold. And let's say I wanted to fill that with a black gradient like that. Okay, there you go. I can also, if I wanted to, I could also fill it with a picture. So let me just find a picture of, um, I don't know, blueberries uh, and let's see if I can okay and let me see if I can put that in there okay so there we go okay I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe uh, so that you're the first to be notified when something new comes out some new content and don't forget to give me a like if you found this video helpful at all. Okay, thank you very much, my friends. Until next time, bye-bye.